What's up YouTube? This is Sam with Sam's Lessons and today I've got an awesome fill for you. It could be a triplet or it could be 6-8. You just saw it and we're going to learn it. I would call this fill a groove slash fill. It's kind of a hybrid between both. The reason I say that is because the snare hit is on 4 or 2 depending on how you think about it right where it's supposed to be so if people are dancing they're gonna keep dancing your band players aren't your fellow band members I should say aren't going to be confused so it's just a really nice feel and everyone's gonna be able to trust where you're at I chose to teach you this fill in particular because it's gonna make you better the reason it's gonna make you better is it's gonna work out your non-dominant hand it's gonna get you crashing the cymbal with that non-dominant hand it also involves a lot of three or four way coordination depending on if you're intermediate or advanced. To learn this we're going to start on the practice pad to get the sticking in accents down then we'll move to the full drum kit and you can really do your thing there. So we're going to say it and then we're going to play it. So to say it one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and. Now we're going to play it. Keep in mind, the sticking just alternates hands the whole time. So it's going to be right, left, right, left, right, left, the whole time. And we're just going to play the rhythm, alternating sticking like that. Right, left, 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 right, left. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, 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 right. Alright, so now that we understand the sticking and the rhythm, we're gonna add some accents. Accents are just louder notes than the rest of the notes. So I'm gonna start playing them for you, um, and you'll be able to kind of see where they're at. One, two, Three, four, and five, and six, and one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and it keeps going. So there are two bass drums in this when you actually apply it to the drum set. Those are going to be on one and three for both hands. Check this out. One, two, three, four, and five, and six, and one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and one. Finally, we are going to apply it to the drum set. We're going to start slow. After you get comfortable at one speed, speed her on up to the next speed. One thing that's very important is every time you play the bass drum, you're going to play the cymbal. So that's going to be on one and three. Remember, one and three. One. 